All right, how's she going there, boys? Little March update. Uh, what I've been doing? It's been really cold here, and I haven't been feeling like doing too much. Cutting firewood like crazy in the background here. Hopefully, this is probably getting on the last load. It's starting to get some plus weather right now, which is good. Um, hopefully, this week it's supposed to be plus seven in the middle of the week. So, get rid of the snow and ice, and we get back to the projects. I'm gonna piss around with the trike today, see if we can get it going. Uh, I've been working on the Cadillac. I got it on the road finally. Uh, what else can I tell you? I fixed the window, fixed the exhaust, well, most of it. And we're gonna have some little fun with this car first, and then we're gonna we're gonna do stuff to it this summer. We're gonna hack it up a little bit. Some of you aren't gonna like it. Some of you will. I don't know. This thing has 156,000 on it. You can see someone stole the horn ornament, so I'm gonna find a different one for that. Maybe one of those big old airplane style ones I don't know we'll see uh, plan is I want to paint it flat black I want to put bags on the front cheaply as I can it has rear air shocks I don't know if I can get away with using those to lower it down on the ground I'm not sure I might have to put bags all the way around uh, with some talk at work some of the kids there say thinks I can use the AC compressor off here to run use it as an air compressor and run a big tank in the back and just have like pistol grip uh, tire gauge style things to lower it and raise it I don't know yet that's just an idea I want to paint it flat black if I do it and I want to graph some old school wings on the back here maybe make them out of styrofoam and then fiberglass on top of them I'm not sure how to do that yet I'm gonna do some research a few projects and it's starting to get nice out now, and I feel more, more motivated to do things. Like I won't have to cut as much firewood, which will be nice. Anyway, that's just a little what's going on. And I gotta do all the track pins on the tank. I thought about taking a link out, a couple links out of it. Yeah, we can do that. But as I was watching 65 Ford's video on uh, how the chain gets loose and how these things only ride when these links here get loose like everything stretches you only get contact point on the top and bottom of the cogs and then it gets really loose this is too heavy to push it around but there's probably got play in here if I pulled back on it so when you're stepping on it you only get contact with the certain amount of the cog which is probably about the same on this as on a normal chain I would imagine so I'm thinking about going through and making all new track pins for this. All new on both sides, which can take some time, but we'll get back to this shortly. Right now, I'm going to piss around with this today, see if I can get it kick over and start. And I'll put the fuel pump on it and the cap, and we're going to go from there. I want to thank everybody who watched uh, the Daily Planet video. Give me a thumbs up. That was freaking awesome. They did an awesome job on that. Uh, it's still me, so. This is what you got. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't sugarcoat things. This is this way. Um, so, yeah, mess all over. Anyway, we're going to get this all going soon. Hopefully, I can get a video a week out again or two. My hope is to get more. But anyway, yeah, I can cut some firewood, trike, and then we'll be back in business. All right, guys, remember to please comment, rate, and subscribe. And you're going to see the trike start up next uh, if I get it going today. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.